Good morning, grade 10 students. So today we have our new topic, which is, which is creating an online store. Now, before we will formally start the lesson, I have two major questions, right? Hmm. First, what software is needed when setting up an e-commerce? Okay. Second, what are some of the platforms one can use when creating an e-commerce site? So you have to think later. You have to answer these things, right? Now, before that, so I have it here in um, a scenario, okay? So kindly read and understand the conversation. I'll give you three minutes to do that or one minute to do that, right? Okay, now, what did you understand based on the given conversation or a situation, All right? Anybody? All right, say again. So in that example class, huh, the boy in the story has a complaint. He's saying that his salary as a mere worker in a store is too small for him to spare money to the Trump asking him for some change. If he were the owner of the store and not Simon Crawford, then he would earn more money. So like the boy in the story class owning a small business like a store, no, is a dream of many budding entrepreneurs. Okay, many of us dream to have a business, but setting up one, okay, setting up a business is no walk in the park if you don't know the process. Fortunately, okay, fortunately, opening, okay, opening a store is now an easy thing to do over the internet. So as you can observe in the, how do you call that one? In the internet, no? um, many of us plug their products in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and etc. So that is one of the ways ne, of how they are going to promote their products. So. So compared to a traditional brick and mortar store, okay, when you say brick and mortar store, that, ref that is referring to the physical store. So an online store is easily created or set up, okay? An online store is easily, what? Okay, so compared to, traditional brick and mortar store and online is easily created or set up so you have to remember these things okay um the website does not have to be something that is categorically a store okay so as discussed in the previous quarter though the four topics given last four uh, last quarter it may be a blog or a social profile page where information on the item for sale and transaction facilities has been uploaded for the use of customers. Um, during the pandemic, we shifted directly to technology. We shifted to online shopping. A lot um, of activities that we are not used to um, it became normal, right? So the following stores components are all that's needed to facilitate the selling process. So you have to remember these three ways. First is a way to showcase the product. 
Okay. The second one is the transaction system. And the third is the product activity or product access and delivery. Okay. So these are the um, components needed to facilitate the selling process. Now, store. Okay. Observe the picture given. So a girl selling drinks. Okay, this is a physical store, right? So these four components are essentials for trade or the exchange for goods for money or to take place. So they allow the management of the selling process. So you can see there is a seller, there is a customer. Okay, so the usual thing. So there are sites that offer services that cover these requirements for a recurring fee. But because of the money involved, these service or these services generally attract only serious sellers who intend to turn up a real profit. For those who simply wish to sell an occasional item, services that can be had for free are enough. Okay, so usually in any other market and setting around the corner, vendors on the street. So they have their small stall wherein they are selling products. Okay, so mostly sayun lang ang exchange of money. Unlike um, Shopee, di ba? We go for add a card and then COD. So from then, there are disadvantages also. Some may be returned to the sellers because of some issues. So, mabawasan ilang profit. And like in this kind of brick and mortar style of um, selling, so easy ang um, uh, returning of monies. Okay? That's it. So, the next thing to do is a way to showcase the product. A way to showcase a product. So, how are you going to showcase your product? Okay? So, you can place your store in a site that's related to what you are selling. Or you can opt to set up your online or your store independently and outside of the sites as a standalone website. So, you can have those things. Okay? What do you mean by that? So, like a real store in the real world setting, a store on the internet needs a place to call home. So, these are the two ways you can do. So, you can place your store in a site that was mentioned no? that's related to what you're selling. Or on the other hand, you can opt to set up your store independently and outside these sites as a standalone website. So, in lesson Three, okay, lesson three, last quarter. Uh, it was mentioned in the module the different sites, services, and tools used so that products can be advertised and sold. So not all of the serve, not all of them serve as a store, but all of them help to facilitate the transactions. So with online store tools, however, you can do more um, simply feature your item for sale on sites so you don't need or you don't really own or administered by other people. So you can actually do everything on your own without your content needing to pass through moder uh, moderation on the scrutiny of administrators. So. The following sections discusses some of these tools, okay? Now, so that's for the way to showcase the product. So it could be placed um, on store in... You can place your store in a site that is related to what you're selling or you can opt to set up your store independently. So when you say independently, bili na magsalig. So Shopee, okay. Pasawatanera, you can place your store in a site that's related to what you're selling. So, so Shopee, Lazada, pwede naman kamo mo ask for or 
sign up an account and be a seller of that um, site. When you say it's independent alone, you have your own domain name, like for example, um, senseproduct.com, okay? Or whatever domain do you have. So that's independent, meaning stand alone site. Now, we'll go to transaction, okay, transaction system. Okay, transaction system. So what is a transaction system? Okay, transaction system, what is that? So as you can see in the picture, that is a Weebly.com, okay? So that Weebly.com, is one of the sites no? for free. So it's a website creation service that is free to use and offers an easy and comprehensive way to have your own place on the World Wide Web. So it allows you to have a system to a cash register which accepts payment and creates a record of transactions. So Weebly has an e-commerce solutions that allow the posting of items for sale and PayPal payments. So those who wish to use more of those services can pay a recurring fee. Okay. So not all um, not all services in Weebly are for free, but if you want to use the system, so na kay bayaran na portion. So in transaction system, it is necessary for a physical store to have a cash register for recording transactions and sorting and keeping cash. So for online stores, you cannot use a cash register, right? But there are many website creation services online that you can make use or you can, you can make your own selling size. So one mentioned is Weebly.com, okay? We also have netidown.com etc etc so the hand so the uh, there are sites over the internet that offer online creation and administration services so most of them offer premium services that include launching a store with its own url okay so these can be availed for a fee so premium naman na so it's not for and you know, for free so, nanay bayad. So, one of these sites is the SCART Server Services by Picotech. So, it offers an online shopping cart service, which, according to its website, allows businesses conducting e commerce to accept and manage orders online securely. So, users can manage their products, their track the customer's order, and accept payment on the internet for a fee. Right? So, kana, ipang abroad abroad ni mini class. So, for more adventurous entrepreneurs, the supplement that comes with this e commerce book provides the details on how you can set up your own shopping cart for your business side to be able to take product orders. So there is, or there are books available in a library or in a bookstore where, where in e-commerce um, is being discussed and how are you going to start the, the business online, okay? That's for the um, transaction system. So basically, uh, most of the stores, okay, even the physical stores, they have their, I don't know, they have their own tracking of records, but that's only for those who can really afford. But for the small, you know, micro, micro, I don't know, micro sellers, okay, so they can't afford that, okay, it will take um, a capital for them to install, okay, so mostly they just track it by writing. Sometimes um, it's not, you know, done properly. And like when there is a system, um, you can really check if you're really earning or not. Okay. And you can really count accurately the number of quantity released and the number of items left. Okay. So those are the things that are mentioned for uh, that necessary for uh, tracking your records. 
Okay. So another one is, let me again. So there's an example. So a store in your blog. So I'm sure that you're familiar what is a blog. So it's like a diary, right? But it's online based. Okay. So a store in your blog, what does it mean? Um, the easiest way to get up and selling things online is to create a blog with content that's related to the product or services you're selling. So if uploading a picture of your products and linking them to a selling page or adding a buy button from a payment gateway like the PayPal, Gcash, and etc., Paymaya isn't an issue to the blog platform or a service provider, then by all means, go ahead, start, right? Pag walang problema na mag-add ka ng mga ganun sa blog site, then you go ahead. So to be sure your account won't get admin thumbs down, Open other blogs using the same platform and see if the owners are using them to sell stuff. Otherwise, you can ask around or even read the site terms and conditions. So before you do that one, how before you sell it on an online platform, you have to also you have also to check the um, selling uh, the, the site terms and conditions. Okay. So usually the blog flat or the blog platforms rather are quite open to their users selling things on their blogs, even if they don't get a cut from the sales, because it promotes user friendliness and patronage. So keep in mind, class. No? However, that the blog platforms reserve the right to block your content or disable your blog at any time and for whatever reason, okay? So they are the owner of the, the site. If they see something is wrong with your site, then they have the authority to block it or terminate, no? Terminate kanila. So um, generally, uh, if you're not violating any of the terms and conditions, then you are safe. So as a rule, you cannot claim others' work or other people's work as your as your own work, as your as yours. So post pornography, make a racist comment, or promote violence of any kind. So they are against of that. All right. So please um, be responsible enough when making a blog. Okay, so you can sell something on your on your blogger blog, okay, blog blogger site by adding gadgets like linked image to or a text you no know, linked on the item for sale. So na ba ko Okay, wala. So, sample na, basta kayo, if you can see, di ba, in the store, na yung mga for sale, product, plaque, once you click that one, it will link you to the selling page. Okay, next. Product access and delivery. So, we have two kinds, digital and non-digital. So, what are these things? Okay, so, whether you are using PayPal, or another payment gateway service, you will need to consider the method of delivery for your product. So essentially, there are two kinds of products that you can sell online. So it could be digital or non-digital. So if your product is digital, that is referring to the ebook, the computer program, you can use um, services like Amazon and payloads, okay? If your product is non-digital, like food and apparel, you can have it delivered by a courier or the postal service. So otherwise, 
if it is a product handled by a service provider, like a publishing company that prints books, also called print or demand or publishing on desktop publishing something, you can have the item produced and then delivered by the service provider. So those are the kinds of um, product access and delivery. So most of us, when we shop or when we buy something online, we, we are waiting for our um, parcel, right? So if it's a Shopee, there are different careers. So na asilay JNT, we have Ninja Van, um, LBC. So those are the things that they prefer when delivering our parcels. Okay, so there is what we call affiliate marketing class. So what do you mean by affiliate marketing? So affiliate marketing class is a method, uh, a method employed by various companies in which a business pays an affiliate. Basically, it means that a middleman for every sale resulting from an affiliate own hard work. So the owner of the blog does not own the product being sold, but he gets paid a commission for every sale made by referring the selling company to customers who buy. So usually, for example, I am the seller. Okay? I am the um, owner of a certain company. Okay, um, Like a wholesale, for example. Wholesale... Business ako ah. So once I own that one, it doesn't mean na wala ko yung mga tao. Okay? I have these middlemen and these are my resellers. Okay? So middlemen, they, um, you know, top up. Okay? Top up amount to the capital, of course. No? So whatever the price listed, they have to add something. For them to compensate their efforts. Okay, everybody get nila. Selling the products, good. So that's it. So affiliate marketing. So it's like a middleman of the business. So usually the middleman gets rich. Okay. They have the commission every time they sell a product. Okay. Or naka sold out sila, then good for them. So what are their efforts? They just keep on. Um, what do you call it? Uh, posting, advertising the product, so they have it. So that is the affiliate marketing. So it has always been a misconception for newbies that they need to have their own product to be able to sell online. No, okay? So, but this is, isn't true at all. So you can sell the products of other people and companies by being their affiliate. Okay, that's what we call affiliate marketing. So companies like Amazon um, boost their exposure and reach by allowing their members, who may also be customers, to sell their products to the other people through affiliate marketing. So you can register to be an Amazon to, to an Amazon.com affiliate and start selling by simply adding a web widget that can be used to display the products and instigate the transaction procedure, okay? So you can you can try this one. So it's in the book. For those who has the book, you can have you can check that one. So that's it. No, that's the affiliate marketing. So you can use services like Amazon. Okay. So when you when you um, create online store, you have to consider the following. So shopping cart, an online shopping term, okay, an online shopping term in which the selected items are listed and placed in a virtual cart. Shopping cart has three parts, the product, product catalog, the shopping list, the checkout system. The second one is the secure server. It helps to protect against loss or modification of personal information. So, dapat um, ano siya, strong. No? Dapat dili, dili ma-modify ang imong system or secure imong security system. The payment options. There are three payment options. Third-party payment processing software, the online merchant account, offline payment processing offline. Okay? So, these are the main things that you have to consider. All right? 
So, to sum it up, okay, sum it up, plus, um, there are several components in setting up an online store. So, whether it's a blog, a social site, or an actual commercial website, it, if all of them are present, then you can have a functional store. Setting up an online uh, a, a store online can be done for free using sites like blogs and web widgets. So the other option of this is to get paid services and put up an e-commerce site, which uh, with its own domain name, so that is an independent, I don't know, independent website. Okay, products sold in online stores can come from the seller or sourced from the affiliate sites that pay a commission to the seller for every customer referred who makes a purchase. So that's a summary of the lesson. Please do remember the different terms, the affiliate marketing, the payment gateway, the shopping cart, the trade, and with web widget. All right? So do you have any question? Do you have any question, class? So for sure, you can answer the two questions I gave. So what software is needed when setting up an e-commerce site? What are the, some of the platforms you can use when creating an online site? So it was mentioned in our topic. Okay. So... Um, like social networks, blogs are other, another easy way to start a simple e-commerce website. So with the installation of you, small application called widgets um, into the code of the website, you can begin selling online. So there may or may not be charges. However, when using blog platforms for e-commerce depending on the platform. So products being sold of an e-commerce portal can be the seller's own or they can be products from others, other people. So this is what we call selling through an affiliate system. Okay, that's it. So are there questions? If you have questions, just comment or message me and then kindly answer the activity posted in the CLE for our um, uh, sorry, lesson one quiz, okay? Lesson, what lesson is this? Five quiz. So if there are no questions at all, I assume that you, you get already the concept of it, okay? So for now, goodbye and God bless you. Goodbye and God bless you, class.